Hello world, welcome to Edupedia world. So in this video, we will learn about some of the internet devices which are there to establish the wonder world of internet. So let's have a look at them now. So the first and foremost is the repeater. It is a network device that retransmits a received signal with more power and to an extended geographical or topological network boundary than what would be capable with the original signal. It is implemented in computer networks to expand the coverage area of the network, re-propagate a weak or broken signal and or service remote nodes. They basically amplify the received input signal to a higher frequency domain so that it is reusable, scalable and available. Unlike the amplifiers which re-strengthen the signal but they also amplify the noise along with the information where any unwanted signal in the information is called a noise. They were introduced in wired data communication networks due to the limitation of a signal in propagating over a long distance but now are a common installation in wireless networks as well for expanding the cell size. So that is why they are also known as signal boosters. Although they cannot do the intelligent routing performed by bridges and routers. So as you can see from the figure, the signal is strong when transmitted. But at a time, a, span, a time span will come when the signal becomes weak. So at that point, we have installed a repeater which regenerates the signal or re-strengthen it so that the strong signal is sent to the strong or clear signal is sent to the remote host receiver. Now comes bridge. It is a device that connects two local area networks or two segments of the same local area network that use the same protocol or network topology such as Ethernet or token ring. It operates or works at the data link or physical network level of a network copying a data frame from one network to the next network along the communications path. So you can envision a bridge as being a device that decides whether a message from you to someone else is going to local area network in your building or to someone on the local area network in the building across the street. Bridging networks are generally always interconnected local area networks. Since broadcasting every message to all the possible destinations would flood a large network with unnecessary traffic. For this reason, routers are preferred over them so that packet can be forwarded only in one general direction rather than forwarded them in all the directions. So you can see from the figure as well we have a database server connected through the different local area networks and they all are connected through a bridge so that the bridge is there to broadcast their messages from one local area network to another but the all these local area networks are using the same network topology named ethernet Now comes router. It is a networking device that forwards data packets between computer networks. They perform the traffic directing functions on the internet. A data packet is 
typically forwarded from one router to another through the networks that constitute the internetwork until it reaches its destination node. Router is called an intelligent device as it creates or maintains a table called routing table of the available routes and their conditions and use this information along with distance and cost algorithms to determine the best route for a given packet. Typically, a packet may travel through a number of network points with routers before arriving at its destination, but they always follow the best available path. They are located at places where two or more networks are connected. Although very little filtering of data is done through them, they operate at layer 3, that is network layer of the OSI model, open system interconnection model, which is a standard model of the network programming. So you can see in the figure it's a Linksys wireless router which is easily can be seen everywhere in the local area networks or even in the home built networks as well. So now comes the gateway. It is a network point that acts as an entrance to another network. On the internet, a node or stopping point can be either a gateway node or a host endpoint node. The computers that control traffic within your company's network or at your local internet service provider are your gateway nodes. So it is often associated with both a router which knows where to direct a given packet of data that arrives at the gateway as well as a switch which furnishes the actual path in and out of the gateway for a given packet where a switch also is a computer networking device that connects devices together on a computer network by using packet switching to receive, process and forward data to the destination device. Now, the gateway is a network node equipped for interfacing with another network that uses different protocols. So, it is also called a protocol converter where protocol is the set of rules governed for the network communication. So, it can operate at any network layer, the activities of a gateway are more complex than that of the router or switch as it communicates using more than one protocol. So now as you can see from the figure here the computers are connected with the computer networking device switch also they are connected to one network printer so all of these computers have one printer to utilize have one printer to use so they are connected through a switch and then to the internet or then to the outer world they have a gateway server between them so the gateway server is there to connect this local area network to the wide area network named as internet. So now comes modem. It is a device that enables a computer to transmit data over, for example, telephone or cable lines. Computer information is stored digitally, whereas information transmitted over the telephone lines is transmitted in the form of 
analog waves. So modem is a device which converts between these two forms and for this reason the term modem is a combination of modulation and demodulation. The most common use of modem is that it both modulates and demodulates analog carrier signals which are also called sine waves for encoding and decoding digital information for processing where modulation is to encode digital information and demodulation is to decode the transmitted information. So modems are generally classified by the amount of data they can send in a given unit of time usually expressed as bits per second or bytes per second. They can also be classified by their symbol rate measured in baud. The baud unit denotes symbols per second or you can say the number of times per second the modem sends a new signal. So here is the picture of a modem which is present in each and every network classification either a local area network or a wide area network. Thank you for watching a video on Edupedia World.